Welcome, to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-1793. Item Number, SCP-1793 Object Class, Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-1793 is to be kept in a small mammal containment cell at Research Sector 71. Gravimeters are to be installed around this containment cell. SCP-1793 is to be fed with veterinary-approved rabbit mix, vegetables and other appropriate nutritional and medical supplements. Objects made by SCP-1793 are be removed from SCP-1793's containment cell for analysis and storage. Due to the non-harmful nature and the repeated persistence of their manifestation, SCP-1793 is to be allowed to retain a small number of items. Description SCP-1793 is a male instance of Oryctolagus cuniculus, European rabbit. The entity is approximately 9 years old and is showing signs of aging consistent with its species. Additionally, SCP-1793 suffers from pulmonic stenosis, a structural defect of the heart. SCP-1793 has been assigned a veterinary practitioner to prevent potential containment failure. SCP-1793 is capable of causing the manifestation of objects that will through spatial anomalies. During the manifestation process, these anomalies continually emit shearing cough radiation, primarily in the purple-blue range of visible light. The anomalies have a gravitational mass proportional to the mass of the manifested object. Mechanical and electrical devices take approximately 15 minutes to manifest, foodstuffs approximately 30 minutes, while copies of existing cultural items appear almost instantaneously. Manifested objects are typically functional and in good condition. SCP-1793 is also able to manipulate nearby objects without physically interacting with them. While in containment, SCP-1793 will typically cause the manifestation of objects for recreational or aesthetic purposes, such as exercise devices or paintings. If feeding is delayed, SCP-1793 will manifest food items typically vegetables. Chemical analysis of the foodstuffs show that fibrous content is greater than in wild varieties, while nutritional content is lower. It is believed SCP-1793 could not survive subsisting on a diet of manifested food. SCP-1793 was recovered from a farmhouse near Whitby, United Kingdom. The recovery was made following an inquiry into the resident farmers and his family's death having been shot by the farmer's own shotgun. SCP-1793 was found wearing a collar with a low-power radio beacon attached. Addendum 1793-1, on 1996-02-27, several of the spatial anomalies associated with SCP-1793 manifested in and around Research Sector 71. Objects created during the event included a single King Edward potato, 82 copies of the painting Nighthawks by Edward Hopper and 3 FE 4034 Challenger 2 main battle tanks. The firing mechanisms for the attached small arms and main gun were missing several components and were unable to fire. The armor had been completely removed. The inside of the main barrel bore the inscription intentionally disabled by the Gleese 445 board for arms non-distribution. During the same incident, gravimeters measured a spatial anomaly inside SCP-1793's containment cell with gravitational mass of approximately 100,000 kilograms. After a period of 47 hours, during which SCP-1793 remained awake and motionless, a sheet of rough paper with printed words was produced. The following is a transcript of the print. I am sorry for the confusion. It is difficult to concentrate. It is difficult to write as well. I am a rabbit, you see. I'm sorry for the farmer. Family for a family, I thought at the time. Seeing him eat my wife and child, you can understand. 
After the mess, I met a man. Well, he wasn't a man. The three heads gave that away. He gave me the means to live out my last days in comfort, before my weak heart gives out. He told me he would find suitable wardens to care for me as I die. I don't know if the criminal should choose their punishment, but from what I'm told this is the nicest prison for those like me. If you ever see him, tell him I say thank you, before you lock him away. Oh, and thanks for the carrots. They never do get those right. Thank you for tuning in. We hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you like us to cover in future broadcasts leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations.